I'm the Wolfman and I'm here today with Ed from the Niagara Bushcrafters and we're going to show you a really cool tool that you can make. This is Ed's axe. It's a Fiskars brand axe. But look at the top of this. This has a special axe cover that he can pull off just by pulling it like this and off it comes. It's really great, protects the blade, protects your backpack. So he's going to give us a show now of how we actually put this together. Hello YouTube. Uh... Greetings to all of you. Uh, I'm Ed. Uh, I uh, was watching the videos on YouTube about uh, uh, sheets made out of tin. And then I got idea to use uh, something where you don't have to cut through the tin altogether and you don't have a sharp parts. And uh, came up with a axe sheet like this one made out of uh, bottom of a tin can. In this case, it was a chocolate chowd container and uh, jute wine, rubber, and some uh, uh, tape. So what we need for it is a piece similar to this one, but I couldn't find it. So I'm taking a little bigger piece just to show for demonstration how, how to make sheet like this. It's very simple. We take an axe, we put it somewhere in the middle and bend the metal. Both sides actually meet. We can make a holes. I'm using this all I made out of Phillips screwdriver. It's very simple. Replace the holes on each side around the edge. So we have a piece of a, a smaller inner tube that we're going to put here in the middle. So when the blade sits in a sheet, it will actually nest in a rubber. So now the next thing is we're going to get some jute wine cut to the size and uh, connect it with a couple of ranger bands, like just like in this case, with the jute wine in the end, so that that part that touches the back of the uh, axe is not uh, going to get where off and in the end we're going to put some masking tape so it looks like this one similar to it. I put uh, four holes so I'll need eight on each side so I'll need eight pieces of jute twine uh, through one through each hole. So now we have a uh, twine where it belongs and we're gonna need a couple of ranger bands to keep all of that together. I'm gonna cut myself a couple out of Yeah, so this is my bicycle in a tube. I I got two of ranger bands together. That's for one side and I'm going to do the same thing for another side. So we got you now two pieces on each other's on each side 
and I'm going to pull them through the rope and so on the other end of this we're going to put a piece of jute cord to hold it together and we're going to do the same thing on the other side The next thing we'll need is a piece of jute cord that I've made. So I used uh, three strains of jute twine to make this cord. And this is a part that actually requires as much cord as the blade requires. So it depends on the axe. I'm going to fit this axe here, a little hatchet. <laughs> That's what we have around. And uh, that will decide the length of this rope here. Tightening up, you tighten it up to get it tense. And usually I leave a little bit rope on this side because you may have to tighten it up again a little bit more. Depends on a, on a rubber. It also stretches a bit. So I'm gonna tighten it up. Yeah, so this is our sheet. The only thing we need to do to finish it is wrap it up with electrical tape so that uh, it looks neat and and so our sheet is ready so we have a piece of rubber in the middle so the blade sits in there it's not the right size it's a little bigger but this is the only thing we could find for demonstration uh, we have this cord pulling on a sheet holding it tight and we have a rubber band providing uh, nice and tight fit. So let's try it. It works. So as you can see, it's really easy to make an axe sheath using an old bottom of a, of a coffee tin or a hot chocolate tin, a little bit of jute twine or paracord, some electrical tape, and some ranger band, which is bicycle inner tube. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'm the Wolfman. Please consider subscribing.